It's officially quarter four of 2025, and Babble Labs has stated previously that the H2C will be releasing in quarter four of 2025, and we're here. So I just want to make a video asking some questions, some speculations, and getting your guys' thoughts. So stick around. Let's get to it. All right, starting off, let's talk specs and build volume. So I really do think the H2C is going to come in two variations, and that's going to be the H2C H2D version and H2C H2S version. And the difference there is with H2D version, you're going to have the double nozzle, kind of that flip, um, the smaller build volume, and the H2S is going to have that single nozzle, but a larger build volume. And I think that is going to stay the same. I don't think they're going to have a, a third printer with a different volume. I think they're just going to be using the platform of those two systems and putting the Vortex system in it. And so, honestly, that's what I think is going to happen when it comes out. I'm going to mostly be looking at the H2S because I'm more interested in the version with the larger build volume of that. Okay, and just to throw out another comparison too, the Snapmaker is going to be releasing or coming out around the same time. And if we click here, let's go learn more. We can see that the build volume is 340 by 320 by 340. And the Snapmaker's build volume is going to be 270 cubed. Okay, so it's a little bit smaller build volume or build area um, that you can have on that Snapmaker. So I'll, the build size is going to be going to the H2S version. Even the H2D is larger than the Snapmaker printer. Um, the Snapmaker's printer is going to be a little bit faster on color changes, but honestly, I'm fine waiting. I do have my Bamboo Lab X1Cs and my A1s, and I'm fine waiting a little bit longer. I just want more than four colors. All right, and speaking of colors, we all know that the Vortex system is going to have six colors, and you can see it right here with that number six. If you have the H2D, then you do have that additional sixth or seventh, sorry, if you want on the uh, independent nozzle. You'll have the system on one nozzle and then that independent nozzle. So you'll have seven colors on the H2D version. I'm assuming that's what it will be. Um, there is not going to be a new AMS. I don't think there's going to be a new AMS. And so we're just going to have, you know, basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to get two AMS systems to go to that Vortex system to get those six colors or you could do the single AMS systems with whatever AMS you have. Um, either way, I think I think what I'll end up doing is probably get the two AMS systems and just have eight colors on hand when I want. Um, I want to know: Will it come with a hub? I hope it does. I hope you know it does accommodate more AMS systems right out of the get-go, uh, rather than me put on the hub itself. Okay, and then this is a burning question that I have. Um, so I know the big thing is eliminating waste. Uh, but if I, you know, didn't really care too much, right? If I only had a little bit of waste, could I put two colors on one nozzle? You know, I'm not talking like put a red and a white because that's going to be purging a lot through it. But if I put like colors on there, like dark colors with dark colors, light colors with light colors can i cut down on the flushing volume and be okay with a little bit of waste so instead of six colors can i get 12 colors you know and have two colors go to one nozzle that's that's what i want to know that'd be a really cool feature i think because i mean i don't know if you guys ever played with your flushing volumes you can really cut it down to a significant amount to where you're not wasting that much. And if you're using like colors, you can cut it down even more so. So that's a question I want answered. Can I have two or more colors go to one nozzle uh, on this Vortex system? All right, so I already mentioned the Snapmaker, and this is Bamboo's answer to that system, I believe. Um, some other ways that I think Bamboo can improve on speed, and let's get this out there. The Snapmaker is gonna be faster. Okay, the tool heads, it's going to be a lot quicker than retracting, cutting, and all that. Uh, more Bowden tubes, you just increase the speed, okay, uh, and more nozzles. So I would like to see, is there a way that when we go and cut, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the bamboo 
X1C or any of their printers, when they are changing colors, they're going to go to the side and it's going to press the cutter down and it's going to cut and then it goes back to its position and then it retracts. I want to know, is there room for improvement there to where we can get a cut and as it's moving back, start to retract? Okay, that's, that's what I want to know and what I want to see. Um, because what's what's going to happen is they said pretty much all of the purge is from the inside the nozzle just that little section but they're going to be retracting all that filament back to the ams system and so i want to know can we retract it a little bit sooner than what we get increasing speed and efficiency of the print or do we have to wait for it to stop and then retract all right and then on to my last thing i'm going to speculate on is the price uh, the price is going to be a big deal. Um, with the Snapmaker, you get all of that. After the early bird pricing and everything, it's going to be about $1,000 to get those that forehead tool changer. Okay, If you look here with the H2S, the H2S combo is $1,500. Okay, So large build volume, four colors. This is the system, again, that I'm going to go for when the Vortex system comes out. And then if you look here at the H2D, that is... $2,299. I think the Vortex system, honestly, where it will be the best is if it falls between this. I, I could see it going probably $1,800 to $2,000. That's what I'm thinking the Vortex system is going to go for in the H2S system. Okay, The H2D, because it has that more uh, engineered tool head, I think it's going to be a little bit more of a of a price increase for the H2D version of the Vortex system than the H2S system. But I'm hoping it falls in between these two, okay? Um, I couldn't, I really can't see it exceeding the value or the price of the H2D because the H2D, <coughs> sorry, the H2D system is their all-in-one laser cutter, uh, their kind of cricket machine, their vinyl cutter. So I, if this is just a printer, I think it's going to be a little bit more than H2S, but not as expensive as the H2D. So there you go. There's just a quick video, um, some speculations I have on the H2C. And like I said, it is quarter four of 2025. We could be hearing about the H2C and the Vortex system very, very quickly here. Um, any day now, honestly. Uh, fingers crossed it's sooner rather than later but we'll see. Anyways, I'm Casey. This is the next build. If you guys are new here, please subscribe. I would appreciate it greatly. If you have any speculations of your own, don't feel afraid to post them and comment, and I'll try to you know, comment back as soon as possible. But let me know what you guys think about the H2C and what your thoughts are. And don't forget to like the video. That will help me out tremendously, and it will help promote my video as well. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys later, and peace.